Hey everyone, today we're taking the application that I built in lovable.dev with Superbase and deploying it in Netlify with a custom subdomain. If you want to deploy your application using a custom domain, we're going to cover that in this video as well. In just a few clicks, Lovable makes it really, really easy to connect your project to GitHub and then to deploy your application to Netlify. This was my first time doing all of this using Lovable, so it was a learning experience, but overall everything went pretty smoothly and I'm happy how easy it was to do all of this. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's do this. Feel free to skip ahead to the deployment content, but first things first, this is the 12 days of code miss. Hope you all are doing well. Got a question for you all today. Do you recommend any good Christmas movies on Netflix? <laughs> My wife and I watched the Lindsay Lohan movie our little secret last night. It was okay. I don't usually watch cheesy, corny movies, but during the holiday season, those movies get a pass. Last night we had some hot chocolate. It was a little chilly out, which is pretty rare in South Florida. So we put on a holiday movie and it was a, it was a fun night, but the movie wasn't the best. We've seen better holiday movies and I want to hear from you. What are some good Christmas movies that you've seen on Netflix? Open anything, but give me your best. Let me hear, let me hear what you got. Just want to make a quick shout out to one of the comments on my lovable soup base app build video. Uh, shout out to Javier Rubio or Javier Rubio, Javier Ubio. Uh, he asked, could you do a video of how to deploy a web with a custom domain using lovable dev, please? Absolutely. This is the first official video request on my channel. So thank you for this request. That is a great idea. So we can complete the cycle of deploying a lovable app to Netlify, so let's get right into it. So first things first, if you all remember this application, it was called Running Personal Record Tracker, and it's an application to upload profile data and as well as your running personal records time location and date if you recall in the last uh in the last video the state of this application was not as it is you see here so if i go to the subdomain where it's deployed on lovable you can see these fields over here are kind of cut off the date picker and the location are cut off and this actually wasn't really working like if i refresh it there was some errors in the console so at the end of the last video i had asked lovable to fix all those three things and it didn't fix it so if i go back to lovable uh, just right before this video i was asking lovable to make those those fixes and as you can see here one these fields are a little uh, wider and you can see the entire date and a little more of the text in the location box and like if i log out sign in you can see that the profile picture works so before the profile picture would work but it wouldn't actually show when you would log in or refresh the page so we had the latest version of our application in lovable but we do not have those updates if you go to the lovable subdomain over here so what we need to do is we've got to go to publish and click redeploy so the first thing we're going to do is click redeploy just to deploy our latest changes to the lovable subdomain or the lovable environment so I clicked redeploy and it is loading. So it looks like redeploy has finished. Let's go ahead and refresh over here, sign in. And as you can see, we have a profile picture and we have the fields that have been widened. So just like that, super easy to deploy and redeploy within the lovable environment. So as you can see up here, our URL is called distance-keeper.lovable.app. If you want to create a custom URL or a custom domain, we're going to have to use a service like Netlify or Vercel. These services make it really, really easy to deploy your applications. Today, we're not going to use a custom domain like distance-keeper.com because in order to do that, I would need to purchase that domain. Because I don't want to purchase that domain right now, we're just going to use a subdomain. So the goal right now is to use Netlify to deploy our application with a custom subdomain like distance-keeper.netlify.com. So that's what it's going to look like. If you plan to use a custom domain, hopefully by going through these steps, we can get you 98% of the way so that you can just plug in your custom domain within Netlify and you'll be good to go. To deploy using Netlify, we have these steps here in the Lovable docs. First, we're going to create a GitHub repository right from Lovable. So if you go into the Lovable app right here in the top right corner, you're going to see a button called GitHub, and then it's going to say transfer this repository to GitHub to collaborate and edit your code. Let's go ahead and click connect to GitHub. Just going to click install and authorize, and then Lovable should have access to my GitHub. Let's go. Let's see if you haven't already done so. So I assume by doing that, it's going to create a repository 
Let's refresh the page and see what happened. So now I see this option, transfer repository. So when I click this, let's see what happens. Create in Jeremy Rojas, which was my GitHub profile. When I clicked on that, now it says this project is connect connected to distance, distance dash keep. Did it create a, a repository? And it did. What just happened was we clicked on GitHub up here. Uh, then I had to click connect to GitHub. And once I clicked connect to GitHub, uh, Lovable connected to my account. Then there was a button that said transfer repository. And after I clicked transfer repository, I clicked on my profile name. And now it says this project is connected, which if you click this, it goes straight to the GitHub project that was created. Wow, so that was super cool because usually if you're doing this locally and you want to connect to GitHub, you have to run like a few commands to make the first initial commits to GitHub and connect it to your local environment. So just being able to do that in like two clicks, really, really easy. So, I mean, if you've, if you've never worked with GitHub before, that was, that was pretty cool. I didn't know that it was going to take in all of our taking our entire project's code. I thought we were gonna have to push it somehow, but wow, cool. And we actually have our SSH and our uh, URL to the GitHub project over here. You can view in GitHub, you can edit in VS Code. Wasn't expecting that to be this easy, connecting to GitHub. Okay, so what we have in the next step over here is to grab the URL of your GitHub repository and then replace it with this URL. So I'm going to copy this URL. Let's go over here and paste it. And let's go back to Lovable and get our uh, HTTPS URL right over here. Let's copy it. And we have to replace it in this URL, just like that. So let us copy this. Uh, and the steps say, just go to this site and follow the instruction. Welcome to Netlify, get to your site in one minute. So we have, just click on this button right here, connect to GitHub. So now we need to authorize Netlify to our GitHub repository. One click, not found. The repository may not exist or it is set to private. If you're in this settings page, scroll all the way to the bottom. And in the danger zone, we're going to click change visibility, change to public. I want to make this public. I understand the effects. Make this public. Okay, that was like three or four clicks just to be sure that you want to make it public. So let's go back to Netlify, save and deploy. Or maybe we should just refresh, refresh the page connect to GitHub repository may not exist or it is set to private. So, and you can go there. It's public. It is public. So not sure why it's not working. Let's just uh, exit that application, that website. Let's ask Claude. Claude, save us please. So I'm trying to deploy to Netlify. Get this error. I'm public in GitHub. What's the issue? verify the repository exists we it does exist by visiting it make sure you properly authenticated netlify and github user settings in netlify check if github is properly connected so i don't think we have to sign up try disconnecting and reconnecting github integration in netlify oh okay without the git extension maybe maybe we need we'll try that first because uh, lovable didn't say to create a netlify account so i don't think we need to do that but what i did provide to Netlify was had the dot get. So let's remove the dot get and connect. This is the authorization. Oh, okay, so that was it. So when you are pasting your GitHub URL into Net, the Netlify app or the, the Netlify URL, when you're adding to it, do not put the dot get. Remove that and it'll work. That's what happened right now. As you can see, connect to GitHub, configure your site. Your site will be live once we click save and deploy looks like our github project will be sent over to netlify and deployed so save and deploy um, repository name already exists on this account so does that mean i had deployed it already somehow not sure but let's just do v2 so it's creating a new github repository that's what it was so it's creating a new github project by the name of this is dash keeper which is interesting it's not using the one that i created already so this distance dash keeper was created from lovable and now this distance dash keeper was created from netlify which is interesting i thought netlify would have been able to use this but i guess we need two separate repositories for uh, the two different services but let's let's see over here great work setting up resilient yoda so this is our first site let's get started so over here we have publish deploy for this site. Let's go on to open. Okay, so as you can see, this is our subdomain, kind of a randomly generated string, that netlify.app. But you know, when sharing this application, we don't want to, to give this, right? So this is where 
You either need to create a custom domain like distance-keeper.com or in our case for free, we're going to customize this subdomain right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Just first wanted to test that our application deployed on Netlify works. This is my application. We can save here, no issues. I can save here, no issues. Cool, so it all works. Very nice, very easy to deploy once again. So back into the sites page over here of my Netlify account. If I go to our website over here, if you go to site configuration, then you go to change site name. Here we can change the subdomain of our application and this is free. So we can just do distance. I don't like that. It's too long. Let's just do PR tracker. I like what we have run PR, no dashes. So it's easier. Like go to run PR tracker dot app. So I like that. So let's go ahead and save that. And bada bing, bada boom, just like that. We click on our app. Okay. So that was super easy. Look at that. So really easy to create a custom subdomain for Netlify. So now our app is called run PR tracker .app. Login works. We can see our application. So again, what we just did is we went to our project in Netlify run PR tracker. If you go to site configuration or click it over here, you can change your site name. And when you change your site name, you can just add a custom subdomain right here. Now, if you wanted to create a custom domain for your Netlify deployment, go to domain management down here, add a domain. This is where you're going to input uh, run PR or let's just do distance dash keeper, right? The original suggestion from lovable. This is where you're going to enter your .com or like your .ai or like your .dev, right? So let's just do .ai for fun and click verify, which then it's going to, wow, that's actually registered already. Interesting. You're going to, verifying is gonna check if it's available for, for purchase or for registration, which this is, is available for 11.99. So to my friend, Mr. Javier Rubio, I hope this helped you. We got all the way from lovable deployment to Netlify to uh, the Netlify settings where you can input your custom domain. And that is how to deploy a uh, lovable application in Netlify and alter the Netlify URL to have a custom subdomain or a custom domain. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Subscribe if you aren't already. Like if it was valuable to you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.